Hello and welcome back for the introduction to another interesting contact, I hope. Uh, recently, the Arcology podcast may have mentioned that their next Patreon actual play is going to be Cyber Pirates. Uh, I will have a link to that down in the description. And I all of a sudden got a crazy idea in my head. It's like, oh man, I got so many ideas for this that I'm sadly not there. So, I've come up with Salty who I forgot to zoom in, so you guys can't actually read anything, but that's okay. Um, Salty is a fisherman. There are all kinds of water-related things going on around Seattle, being that it is a coastal town. It also has a lot of import and export due to that, and there are borders everywhere, which means doing things by water is a great way of uh, avoiding hassle of paperwork so the idea of being here is the while I did come up with this based upon the Arcology actual play that he could also be like air quotes retired from there into coming up to Seattle or you could run him down there if you want to run your also, you're also Cyber Pirates game and a lot of his things going on here that I have written up for him are um, not location specific so what is his what would his worth be to a Shadowrunning team? Uh smuggling. Smuggling is a fantastic thing that Shadowrunners need, be it themselves or gear or things they want to purchase or just whatever. Um like boating gear can include water based drones, uh modifications to other vehicles, even something as simple as a scuba tank and a wetsuit. Um and sometimes you want to go fishing. On multiple runs, I have personally rented a a boat to go fishing and used my time spent out there on the boat to not catch fish, but to catch intelligence and get ideas on areas that you can see from the water and look kind of nonchalant about. Um, there's a couple of different ways I had in mind to get him into the team's good graces. He could easily be a Johnson. A person with a smuggling and piracy background is the kind of person that might hire runners to help with piracy and smuggling. If the runners end up down at the docks for another job, he could just be a overly colorful individual, and I'll get to some of his description in a minute. A, not necessarily a Johnson, but a guy that wants something done may need a favor for a friend, or hey, I call up this contact asking for a thing. Sorry, uh, I could help you, but I need to take care of this thing for a friend of mine. If you want to help out with that, I could get to your thing a lot quicker. Get him in there that kind of way. Or the idea for a meet that I'm going to have to do sometime in the near future is that Johnson is going to meet on a boat in the middle of the Puget Sound with his, his goons and the runners, and that's where they're going to have their meet because it is really hard to get surveillance on that kind of thing, and it's super secret, top secret stuff. Um, or, you know, there's always starting the game with the the idea of having a, a boating contact, if that is something that your, your character is into. Um, so coming down here into the cast, uh, we have some descriptions. Salty is a troll. He is a, an older troll in his 50s. He has a partial cyber skull with that eye on that side being also a cyber. He has a partial cyber leg with a malfunctioning foot anchor. It leaves him with a bit of a limp. Yes, I am playing up on the tropes of eye patches and peg legs. You should as well. It makes for things to be a lot more immediately uh, recognizable as what that character is. Dress him in a yellow rain slicker hat and give him a, a pipe, and everybody will immediately know what he looks like. And that will help make him both memorable and give him a lot of personality that some people and NPCs that the the characters come across, they might not have to. His other important aspect is his boat. Um, you can really use whatever boat you want that fits the style of your campaign, given as Rigor 5 has just come out with a bunch of things. I grabbed the one that seems to fit a, a houseboat-ish size thing that a person could use to still um, still do things out of. It is his pride and joy. Everybody knows that uh, pirates love their boat. 
but it is also heavily modified. This can mean any number of things. Rigor 5 has a variety of cool and interesting modifications you can do to vehicles. Maybe it's also a submarine. Who knows? So the first front I have listed on here is off the map. A, a salty sea dog such as Salty is has a bunch of stories that have varying levels of legitimacy to them between alcohol and who knows what goes on in the Caribbean League with, you know, Bermuda Triangle craziness and all that other stuff. Um, who knows how much of his stories are real, but he enjoys telling his stories, and as such, occasionally he tells stories he shouldn't. The The story in question for this that I had was there was a sunken treasure that he keeps saying it's like the one that got away. He's going to go back and get it one day. Um, so at some point, maybe your runner, maybe he's telling this story to your runners as an adventure seed in a, you know, the crowded stocks bar or something like that. When they come across him later, somebody is listening to the story again very intently. Um, he'll mention to the runners, it's like, you know what, maybe it's time that I actually make this trip. Something along those lines. When making preparations, he is accosted. Somebody is going to try and make a move on him to maybe... Maybe they beat him up and take his comm link, which had the information, some of the information in it. Maybe they got a little bit more uh, invasive with it. You know, that really depends upon your game. But the important thing that Salty realizes is they're after my treasure, and the race is on. A crazy adventure that the runners will hopefully spend some new unit on to, you know, fly across the country to get down to the Caribbean League, get into some pirate ship battles, you know, watch some of the old movies where they have underwater knife fights and that kind of thing, and just play up the tropes and just make it a, a fun action adventure where you're doing things like traveling by map and engaging with colorful characters in a sit in a setting that your game normally isn't in. Um, the second one here I have is to to take the you can take the rum out of the pirate. And when you've lived your lives as a pirate and a smuggler and doing all kinds of questionable legality things involving water, well, it, sometimes those habits die hard. Um, Sometimes things that you transport aren't exactly well received by the places they go. I had a run on the hub that I was involved in where we had to transport this. Um, it was basically a large gem from Seattle to Japan. And while nothing really happened, things got creepier and creepier on the on the boat. Like uh, a couple of the runners began to notice black spots as per, you know, the old. Davy Jones black spot kind of thing. And here we are, four of us on a large boat in the middle of nowhere, kind of just, what do we do if something goes horribly wrong? We have no matrix access. We have no really way to contact everybody. And only really one of us knew how to pilot a boat. So things could have gotten really interesting. Similarly, you could do that with your runners. Salty is hired to drive an item from Seattle to a place and given as he was just hired by himself and he wants a little company or he is given a slightly bigger boat he needs additional people to help him enter the runners to assist him on this trip he kind of sublets them play up the the haunted Scooby-Doo mystery aspect of this trip make it creepy if your mage uh, actually perceives you know things go go weird have a awakened whale take a front to the thing that is dragging a background count through the ocean or near it. You know, like, Arr! have it breach and try to maybe not necessarily sink the boat, but make things interesting. Um, when you transport something like this, yeah, people might find out. And maybe they have contacts that are asking them about the trip in a not necessarily indirect way. Um, Maybe something on the trip happens and Salty starts acting strange. Maybe if he, after acting strange, maybe he just disappears. And the question remains is, what were you dragging through the ocean out there? Was it evil? Was it was it terrible? Or was it just another job? Who knows? 
Um, then the third thing I have listed here, you may or may not want to include in your thing, but I wanted to include it for his his characterization because not all threats in Shadowrun need to be external. Um, as a pirate, he enjoys rum and alcohol and merrymaking. So the first time they call up, you know, everything's cool. He is singing sea shanties in a bar, you know, having a good time, is able to help the runners. Call him up the next time, mildly intoxicated. The next time, more intoxicated, and so on and so forth. Because Salty might have a drinking problem. And before going down this line, I want to make sure that you know your players pretty well, because some people may have had family issues with alcoholism and that kind of stuff, and you don't want to bring that back up into your game. But the idea here being is Salty might need some help, and if the runners don't do anything, he is probably going to drink himself to death in one way or another. And it really depends upon your runners on how those things will play out. Um, it's kind of a somber situation, but hey, uh, not all threats are external in Chatterrun in, in real life. Um, however, there's a lot of different ways that this can go. Maybe they find out that his drinking is caused by some kind of personal problem that is stressing him out, and thus he this is how he's escaping it. Maybe he's just an alcoholic. Maybe who knows? Um, I got a little, I got a little real there that I kind of didn't, uh, kind of want to. Uh, for the stakes for this, what plunder will Salty lead the team to? Um, the high action adventure trip across the country to race pirates to treasure could be a lot of fun. It could also end up. Um, leading people to like oh, maybe now that you're in Caribbean you want to hang out and do some work here maybe maybe the the treasure that you find isn't necessarily physical treasure maybe you find a pearl that has the engraved name of a free spirit of water that this is where it came into uh, our world and now you guys spend a bunch of money but you have a free spirit contact or some kind of crazy astral quest that your mage can use as initiation or something along those lines. Um, the second one I have listed on here is what ghosts haunt his past. And this is mostly dealing with like the second and third uh, portent or front that I put up on here. The, the idea that, yeah, he is, he may live in Seattle now, but he did things before coming here. And maybe those things are going to come back to haunt him in maybe direct physical ways or maybe just not direct but just bad memory kind of ways. Um, anyway, uh, that's kind of what I have put thrown together here. I Part of me sort of regrets the alcoholism thing, but sometimes it's important to touch on subjects to to ground the game in reality rather than continue on with the high-octane craziness that some ping mohawk runs or the deep and stressful things that black trench coat games can do um either way i appreciate you guys taking the time out to watch or listen to this later on uh if you want to contact me i am at gm underscore bamps on twitter or gm bamps at gmail.com and let me know how he goes for you guys i'm really curious i'm going to poke this over towards the Arcology podcast and hopefully, I don't know how deep they are into their uh, that actual play, because it's all pre-recorded. They talked about uh, I believe pre-Gen Con is when that was recorded, so they're like six months out on that. So I doubt he'll actually show up in their actual play, but who knows? He could show up at your table, he could show up at one of my tables in the future. He may show up for the ultraviolence on, on the other actual play that I do. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for checking him out. And I will see you next time.